Unfortunately, since there is no birth time available, my comments have to be considered speculative to a large extent. Amy Coney Barrett is in the midst of a controversial confirmation process, which is nonetheless deeply significant for the country as well as for her, since she would be on the court for decades if she is appointed. All indications are that she will be, since the options to block it by Democrats are limited and Republicans seem determined to act upon their legal right to appoint a judge, even though it is very close to an election, and even though they had promised they would never do this after what they did with Mary Carlin in 2016, and even though they are trying to replace a liberal judge, RBG, with Coney Barrett, who is known to be anything from very conservative to extreme right-wing in her legal inclinations. All you need to know is that she wasn't just a clerk for the late Antonin Scalia, she professes to be a fan of his philosophy as well. In the day positions, what immediately jumps out is the 24-plus Capricorn Mercury, currently getting Saturn-Pluto-Jupiter transit action, which I would consider to be astrological confirmation of something very important happening in her life. The fact that it is in a grand cross with Mars, Uranus, and the Moon adds to the importance, the excitement, and the controversy of her proposed appointment. The Moon in Cancer will range from near 10 degrees all the way to 24, which means the later she is born, the more those moon degrees get close to where Pluto and Saturn are transiting, which would probably increase the danger of failure. Now I say probably both because I don't know the time of birth, but also because when you look at the birth condition of Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto, they don't look like terribly stressed planets. They might become so with times of birth that would bring in the ascendant or the midheaven degrees, but their positions will be the same regardless of birth time, and Saturn is in a geometric trine to the Sun and Pluto, a solid Earth trine to Mercury, and might even be in a sextile to the Moon. Pluto in geometric trine to Mercury, Sun and Saturn, and Jupiter in its own sign and trine to Mars makes it really strong as well. What I mean by all this is that even with Saturn right on top of that Mercury through the period of congressional hearings, which is normally a bit too risky, it's much better to have Saturn at least a little bit away from any important planet at a key moment like this, still, I suspect it will not be enough to derail her appointment. Pluto is also a bit too close for comfort in a square to her Mars, but since it isn't that difficult a natal planet, it is unlikely to be enough to cause serious trouble. Also, Jupiter soon follows in a conjunction to Mercury in November, and Pluto going over it signals a big life change, as does the fact that Saturn and Jupiter are going into her sun sign Aquarius in December, and will in fact conjunct the sun degrees next year. So, bottom line, for progressives that are frustrated about the unfairness of her appointment to the court, I'm afraid that in all likelihood it's going to happen and it's something that Democrats will have to aim to equalize in some other way once they gain control of the presidency and Congress, which I still continue to believe they will this November. One other factor to note is that the hearings and her proposed appointment would happen under Mercury retrograde, which is not ideal and can signal corrective measures at a later time.